Southeast Asia is a huge region. In fact, it is so big that you can spend a full year traveling in the region and still not see it all. There are countless islands and even more beaches across the region. With world-famous beaches, Southeast Asia offers a ton of opportunities to enjoy the endless coastlines of the region. You can relax and enjoy the peaceful views and engage in several water sports while there. The beaches are serene with crystal clear waters that reflect the nature of the destination. If planning a beach vacation in the region, consider one of the following places for an amazing time. Kuta is probably the most famous part of Bali and with good reason. Not only is it the home of the iconic Kuta beach, but it also has a swinging nightlife scene that keeps going into the wee small hours. The coastline here is covered in soft golden sand and the beachfront is flanked with a long promenade dotted with cafes and myriad restaurants. Popular pastimes here include surfing, swimming, and enjoying the various beach games available, or you can use one of the many spas and spend some time relaxing and pampering yourself. Whatever you choose to do, there is no chance of being bored in Kuta, and even those with families will find a huge amount to enjoy away from the typical nightlife venues. Beaches and coral reefs have resulted in the growth of a huge tourist economy, with visitors heading there not only from Australasia but also places much further afield. Tropical sunshine is guaranteed, and with clear, warm waters, Bali's beaches are a great place for a holiday. Patong Beach is Phuket's main tourist resort. There's no shortage of daytime activities to entertain families, and a host of restaurants, bars and clubs keep revelers going well into the night. During the day, the beach's two miles of golden sand, surrounded by green headlands and clear water, are lined with rows of sun loungers and umbrellas. If you are not content to merely sit and watch the world go by, rent a jet ski, windsurf or kayak. Adrenaline junkies can sign up for a banana boat ride, or go waterskiing, wakeboarding or parasailing. There's excellent snorkeling amongst the rocks at the north end of Patong. In the afternoon, there are usually games of beach volleyball for anyone who's interested. Patong Beach is on the west coast of Phuket Island. It is around 10 miles west of Phuket Town or 22 miles from the International Airport on the north of the island. The island is only 7 kilometers in length, and at its narrowest just 500 meters wide, but people flock here for the outstanding beauty that the island offers. The main attraction is White Beach, that has a 4 km stretch of white sand that is surrounded by restaurants, hotels and diving shops. There is always a party happening on the island with fire shows, and live music giving revelers an evening of non-stop entertainment. Over the years, the development of the island has continued, but there are still plenty of places to relax and thoroughly enjoy yourself. There are 13 beaches on Boracay, each one more beautiful than the next. The two main beaches, White Beach and Bulabog Beach, are separated by a one-kilometer path with shopping, restaurants, and hotels. This island is a picturesque getaway for honeymooners, a bucket list destination for kite surfers, and dream come true for everyone in between. Phu Quoc is by far the largest island in Vietnam, a country famous for its 2,000-mile-long shoreline and one of the best cuisines in the world. The island has a long list of beaches scattered around, however, Long Beach is the most famous of all for its long stretch of sandy beaches enclosed in a palm-fringed coastline. While sunbathers and swimmers find the waters of Long Beach extremely favorable to venture in, the beaches are also a hit among photographers and sunset lovers. 
squid fishing, hiking, snorkeling, kayaking, jet skiing, stand-up paddle boarding and biking around the beach town are some of the other usual activities enjoyed at Long Beach. Located only 4 miles from Phu Quoc International Airport, the beach is easily accessible. Long Beach being one of the most prevalent towns in the country, has plenty of hotels, beach resorts, bars and restaurants, travel agencies, and other tourist facilities. Longkawi is a picturesque island located off the coast of Penang in Malaysia and is a great place to come if you want to sample some island living. Longkawi has a laid-back atmosphere that makes it very different from other parts of Malaysia, and many people flock here for the pretty beaches and natural scenery. The beaches on this island are often described as the most beautiful in Malaysia. Longkawi Island is also known for its aquatic life and peaceful isolation, and is a great place to relax and unwind in a stunning natural setting. Take your choice of beautiful tropical beaches. There's the more developed Pantai Senong, where you'll find restaurants, pubs and beer gardens, or the more isolated Pantai Coke which is surrounded by forests and mountains. Datai Beach offers both nature and comfort, with luxury resorts and spas surrounded by ancient forest leading down to a white sand beach. Rent a paddle boat, or a snorkel and explore the clear blue waters. You can also join a dive tour with one of Langkawi's several dive companies. See underwater coral gardens home to lobsters, barracudas and black tip reef sharks. Long Beach, the gorgeous white sand stretch as far as you can see, is on the other side of the mountain from Ko Toj Beach and is certainly worth the voyage. The hike gets your heart pounding as it's a bit steep at times but the bright green jungle scenery is so beautiful that you probably won't even notice. Once you arrive cool off in the turquoise water or grab a fresh fruit shake from one of the shacks on the beach. As the day nears the end, groups of people gather on the shore to watch the sun set into a gorgeous orange and pink painting in the sky. There will be long tail boats waiting to take people back to the main beach if you don't want to brave the trail in the dark. Hiking shoes, flip-flops, bare feet it's all been done before. The most important thing to bring on this trek is a flashlight in case you decide to hike back after sunset. Beaches in Singapore are generally well known for one thing, being man-made. While you can find some stretches of the white stuff that is 100% genuine, the most picturesque beaches in Singapore have been built using imported sand from neighboring Southeast Asian countries such as Indonesia, Malaysia and Cambodia. Siloso Beach Singapore is a clean, sandy cove on Sentosa Island, just 30 minutes from the bustling city center. The beach is popular with families throughout the day and takes on a partying vibe at night. It is one of the best places in Singapore to relax and take in the scenic coastline. Much like other elements of Singapore, Siloso Beach is not a natural landmark. The sand on the beach was imported from Australia and is kept exceedingly clean. It was man-made to give locals and visitors a nice coastal stretch to relax on. If you are looking for some beach time in Myanmar then look no further than Napoli Beach. This is one of the few beach destinations open to foreigners in Myanmar, and as such is the best place to come to take in the Azure Seas which look out to the Bay of Bengal. You can of course spend time here relaxing on the sand and topping up your tan, but if you prefer you will also find a huge range of other things to do in Napoli Beach including trekking and sightseeing. If you want to explore the culture in this part of Myanmar then you also won't be disappointed as you take in colorful temples, throbbing markets and dainty monasteries scattered all over the surrounding countryside.
Muera Beach Recreational Park is a popular weekend retreat. It's pretty, but like many beaches in Borneo, it's littered with driftwood and other flotsam that comes in with the tide. Quiet during the week, it has picnic tables and a children's playground. A plaque commemorates the nearby Australian amphibious landings of 10 June 1945. Muera juts out into the South China Sea with its own needle-shaped finger of land, forming the western end of the populous Brunei and Muera district. Known primarily as one of the Sultanate's top beach towns, it's home to a great stretch of golden sand and a clutch of picnic spots and playgrounds for those with kids in tow. Look for the manicured lawns of the Muera Beach Recreational Park. Other pleasant walks can be had along the palm-dotted spit of Sarasa Beach to the south while views out across the ferry-dotted ocean are to die for. People are often surprised to hear that Laos has a clutch of islands. Why? Well, Laos is known for being a landlocked country which means that it has no coastline, but it is still the home to the Sea Fan Don Islands which translate as 4,000 islands in Lao. The islands are actually part of the Mekong River which spills out across the border with Laos and neighboring Cambodia and forms a series of small islands in the region. There are a number of islets here but the main ones are Don Khon and Don Det, which are the larger islands, and Don Kong which is smaller, less developed and altogether more laid back. The main reason to come here is to explore a more rural and less touristy part of the country, although don't expect a huge amount of tourist infrastructure here as there is not much to do here in the evenings, or in the way of nightlife, although this is largely the point. 